everyone. Hi. Stephanie and Buddy here from the Dimmon Homestead. And we got some stuff going on today, but first, I want to show you what happened earlier today with the barn because it's pretty exciting. It is. So, big milestone. If you see this patch of dirt, this is the underground power that was run from our house to the side. You can see one. 220 cable coming out here. This is gonna be for uh, the AC unit, but We have Let there be light some temporary lights up <laughs> and electricity is officially ran Pretty exciting. Every single outlet was tested. Everything works well. They even framed in and wired in the vent for the bathroom. Not gonna stay looking like that. No, yeah. It's just temporarily put up there for right now. But yeah, so that's a pretty big step. Hey, there's a light right here we could turn on. Oh, sure can. There we go. Hey, now you can see us in here. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty pretty major step today. Yeah. Um, and then in a couple days, they're gonna be back out to finish the electricity on the barn side, and electricity will be done. done. You know what we could do tomorrow? What? Go get the insulation. Yeah, we could, but we've got plumbing to do first, so one step at a time. Oh, it's coming along though. So, plumbing next, right? Yeah, plumbing is next, yes. Plumbing is next. And and that's going to be a then, big one. Yeah, then insulation, then sheetrock. So. And then painting. Yeah, and then, then all, all the things. And then flooring. Yeah. And then AC. <laughs> yeah. And doors. Um, but. When do we get doors? Doors? Um, I don't know, I guess after the insulation is done. Anyway, you're distracted. I'm sorry. I want to try something cool. Let's go check it out. So it's that time of the year when the weather is getting warmer and Luna has lots of extra hair. Always. Lots of extra hair. Always. And uh, it gets all over the house, all over Always. the things. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking to uh, Steph's brother and, uh, and sister-in-law and they were telling us that they got a vacuum brush yeah and i had i had seen them before i think but i didn't really know anything about it so i was like well how does it work i was asking them about it and they they loved it they're like in love with it they have a sheltie which if you know they look like mini collies yeah lots of hair yeah so then i asked around at work and anyone at work who had one also swears by it so we had to pick one up. Yeah, we did buy one. Yeah, we, we weren't sponsored. We no. bought one. We bought one because uh, if it works as well as everyone says that it works, then this is going to be a game changer. Yeah. Because all that hair, just <laughs> keep vacuuming it and brushing it up at the same time. Yeah. All right. So let's Plus, try it. like pre-RV trips. Oh, yes. To vacuum her before we go on yes, an RV trip. Yes, because the RV fills with dog hair. There's, almost, there's only so much you can... Like, you could be brushing and brushing and brushing and brushing and filling up brushes. Like, yeah. it, it's, an, it's an... So, I'm excited to see how this turns out. I, I'm excited, Let's too. open it up. All right. Come on, Luna. Come here, Luna. All right. Let's see this thing. Do you remember the brand? The brand? The brand? Yeah. Oh. Arobo. Air Robo. Oh, Air Robo. I didn't see the eye. Air Robo PG100 Pet Grooming Vacuum. Cool. Air Robo. I hope it's not garbage. Me too. How much was it? Mm, I think this one was like 75. Really? But, yeah. There was some of them that like went up to 150. Like. I didn't get the cheapest, but I did not get the most expensive. Okay. Ooh. Has a leather handle? That looks fancy. Not drop it. Yeah. That's where it contains all the hair, looks like. Okay. 
okay. Slugs on the bottom, that makes it easy to... I guess we could have done this inside since... We're just so used to coming outside to like brush. Mm -hmm. It's funny that we came outside to do this, although it's supposed to be all self-containing. Oh, it's got uh, trimmers too. No way. Does oh. it work? Oh. To cut it? I don't think that's trimmers. I think that's just fine too. There's the brush. Okay. We're just we're not gonna read the No. Who needs instructions? Should I get an extension for that? No, look, it is trimmers, because look, there's a bunch of guards that come with it, too. Oh. So it's got pet trimmers, or a, a pet trimmer attachment. It looks like hair clippers, and it's got a bunch of different size guards. So you could give your uh, pet a haircut. Okay. Baggy. This is the one we probably need for her baby. Her butt. Uh, the harder, harder bristle one. Oh, okay. and look, you can like push this to clean it. Nice, just like a, a normal brush. Yeah, we can start with that big one. Start with the big yeah, one. Yeah, start with the big one. Okay, we're gonna start with this big one right here. I wonder if it's loud. We'll see. Where's it hooked to? Uh, probably that hold the bottom. Oh, probably. Bits and pieces. I should do you. No. Luna, come on. Come here, Luna. Let me brush your beard, buddy. Sit. Come here. Sit. Sit. Ooh, look at this good spot. Okay. All right. Say hi, Lunas. Put it on the mat. Okay. You ready? Yep. Ooh. Whoa. You gotta get that. You gotta, you gotta bring it. that you gotta bring that closer. Okay. That was cool. That's awesome. Okay, so we're brushing, brushing. This, it's not too loud, right? No, it's not that loud at all. Okay, let's see. We got some hair on this. Watch. Oh, <laughs> that's satisfying right there. That is super satisfying. <laughs> you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. I'm just, just watching it is very satisfying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who's are getting your hair cut? victories in life, yeah. you know? <laughs> this is a game changer. Should we change out the attachment? Try the hard bristle brush. Are you okay? You're gonna get a good treat. I love that we can bring this inside. Yeah. And do this. back to the big ones. This one doesn't get as much. It is good for the really tough thick spots, but overall it doesn't get as much.
That was pretty cool. That was cool. And she looks shiny. Should we see what's in it? Yeah. We should take it out to the bird nest cage. Well, yeah, to replace it? Mm-hmm. I wonder how we take this canister off. There's a clip right there on the side, huh? I know, but... I wonder if this whole thing comes out. Here. Maybe stand it up. No, like stand it up like that. Yeah. And then see if that, yeah, unclips like that. No. Let's read the instructions. Oh. Instructions. Instructions, smuctions. Oh, wow. holy cow. Wow. That's a lot of dog hair. That's a lot of dog hair. And gross. Wow. See it? It's like full on this canister. That this canister, whole canister is it full. It is full, yeah. From one brushing. Wow. Luna, look at all your hair. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Lots of hair. Man, that was cool. All right, let's go uh, put it out in the okay. bird nest cage. So if you don't know, we have a bird nest cage. Um, because Luna has so much dog hair, we'll put the dog hair Bird, yeah, that's what it is. Bird nest, bird nest material cage. We put Luna's dog hair in the cage to help the birds feeder, make nests. Yeah. It, yeah, it's supposed to be a feeder, but we it's use it. Picked through a little bit. Yeah, we use it to help the birds. And bleached by the sun. So we're gonna swap it out with some fresh material. Blech. <laughs> That's a lot of dog hair. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Some over here. Some over here. And there we go. Waste not, want not. Okay. Very cool. making well I'm gonna say that was awesome that was pretty cool I think that thing is a win I kind of know why people love it so much yeah definitely gonna use that I want to maybe use it for a couple days in a row yeah and just see if we can't get that undercoat because after a while you could tell she was like over it and I didn't want her to like uh, not, I didn't, not like getting brushed yeah, yeah. So, um, but we were hitting some of those itchy spots. Yeah. Yeah, you could tell she was like scratching her leg a little yeah. bit. But yeah, so it, that what were, cool. what, how long would you say? 10 minutes maybe? Yeah, about 10 minutes yeah, of we, brushing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think if we did it, if we did it more regularly now that um, it's getting warmer. Maybe five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It won't be that bad at all. We could definitely do it indoors. Yeah, you could do it indoors. Yeah, there was sure. a, there's a little bit of some flyaway, but... Yeah. Sweep it up, vacuum it real quick, your floor. It Nothing was, near what you... It was so satisfying watching that hair just... <laughs> yeah. You hogged it. I had to like... <laughs> I had to ask. I'm like, hey, can I have that? Can I do it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fun. man. Well, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I don't know if you all have one or not, or if you've been thinking about getting one. We've never had one, but that was cool. Yeah. I don't know why we haven't had one. It's a good investment. Yeah, that thing is awesome. Especially if you have dogs, a dog or multiple dogs with lots of hair that shed when it gets warm. That was, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye.